it's time to do our translation of Malachi 3 verses 1 through 7b. Let's go. Now, I might butcher the pronunciation of the Hebrew. I apologize in advance if that offends you. I'm giving it my best shot. I hope you'll do the same if you are uh, still learning Hebrew like I am. Uh, it's a fun language to speak. Hini sholeach malachi. Behold, I am sending my messenger. Uh, so Malachi, Malachi, means uh, my messenger. I'm not sure if this is um, the proper noun or if it's simply just my messenger. I'll, I'll have to look into that. Vufi, Vufi na Derek, Lifnai. And he will uh, clear a track. So in this case, it's a PL stem. It's an intensive form of the verb. So uh, to, to tidy up, to clear away, remove, or in this case, because we're talking about Derek, uh, to clear a track. So we're clearing the way. He, is, he, he will clear the way before me. Bufitom Yabo El Heikalo Haadon Asher Atem Mibakshim. And suddenly he will come. Who? Uh, the Lord. Uh, ha Adon. This is not to be confused with Adonai, the pron pronunciation of the Tetragrammaton, Yahweh. No, this is actually Adon. Uh, so it's Lord with a, uh, a lowercase l, or, or maybe in this context, since it seems to be referring to God, maybe with a capital L, but not the whole name capitalized, um, as we'll see later. Ha. Ha'adon uh, is the Lord whom you seek, and the Lord will come into his temple. Vumal o'ach habrit asher atem hafetzim, and the messenger of the covenant whom you delight, hinebo, uh, I'm sorry, hineba. Behold, he is coming. Amar Adonai Tzivaot says, The Lord, this is the Tetragrammaton, so Yahweh, translated as uh, the Lord, all caps. Traditionally, it's pronounced Adonai for fear of taking the Lord's name in vain. So, says the Lord of hosts. And that's verse 1. Vumi Mikal Kel et Yom Bo'o. And who... Uh, will endure, I guess you could say, and who can endure the day of his coming. Vumi haomed bihera oto. Bihera oto. And who can stand, or who, and who will stand when he appears. Ki hu ki esh mits Mitzaref, for he is like a uh, fire of a refiner. That's that's a goldsmith, one who smelts. Vuk borit mikab sim, and and like soap of a fuller. A fuller is one who washes and beats clothes to to cleanse it. Now verse three. Vyashav mitzaref vuntahe. Kesef Vitihar et Bene Levi. So, uh, and he will sit as a refiner and a purifier of silver. Uh, he will purify my sons of Levi. Vizikach Otam Kazahav Vikakasef. And he will refine them like gold and like silver. Vihai vu la Adonai magishe mincha bitztaka. Then they will be to the Lord uh, a present offering in righteousness. No, I, I think it's more like, and they will be uh, ones who present an offering in righteousness to the Lord. Verse 4. The Araba La Adonai Minchat Yehuda the Yerushalayim. 
then the offering of Judah and Jerusalem will be sweet to the Lord. Kime Olam Vuk Shanim Kadmoniot Kadmoniot as days of long ago and uh, as years earlier. Verse 5 Vikar Abti Alechem Lamishpat. Then I will draw near to you for judgment. Vihayiti Vihayiti Ed Mimaher Mimaher Bam Kashfim. I will be, then I will be a witness, a hasty witness to those who practice sorcery or simply to, to the sorcerers. And two in this sense is against. So I will be a, a hasty witness against uh, the gro the the sorcerers. Uh, Vubam Naafim um, and against the adulterers. Uh, Lashacher uh, to the liar. This one's singular. Um, two again in this sense probably again against Vuaroshke and who oppress against those who oppress uh, Shikar Shakir uh, sorry it's it's a scene Sikar Sakir uh, the wages of the hired ones who are the hired ones uh, Almana the widow the Yatom uh, and the orphan uh, Vu Vumate Gier against those who steer sideways or guide away or thrust away the stranger, the alien. Vilo Yira Yere Uni who do not fear me. It's literally uh, they do not fear me. Uh, but I think in this context, who do not fear me? Amar Adonai to Tivaot, says the Lord of hosts. Verse 6. Ki ani Adonai lo shanit, shaniti. For I, the Lord, do not change. It's interesting because up until now, pretty much the entire context has been future tense. But here it's clearly perfect. There's a shift in, in tense to, I think, emphasize the, the state of being. The Lord does not change. Ve'atem lo kalitem. Therefore, you have not perished. This is the perfective. Uh, still in the Cal perfect, but now emphasizing, I think, the uh, perfect, perfect action here. You have not, and you continue not to, uh, perish. Bene Yaakov, sons of Jacob. Why? Because the Lord does not change. It's an emphasis on his faithfulness to his people and to the promise that he made to Jacob and the promise he made to Isaac and the promise he made to Abraham, as well as the promise he made to David. Lamime, this is verse 7. Lamime uh, Abot Techem Sartem. Mehukai, from the days of your fathers, you have literally fallen down or uh, turned aside from God, or you could uh, you could say uh, deserted or or backslid. We'll we'll say turn aside. You have turned aside from my statutes, Vilo Shimartem, and you have not kept them it's literally and you do not keep uh, but it's clearly re referring uh to the statutes uh shuvu eli the ashuva ale ale kem it's beautiful turn back to me this is imperative this is a command turn back to me and i will return to you Again, emphasizing the Lord's faithfulness to his people. Uh, and the word turn back basically has the idea of you had a point of origin. You set out from that point of origin. 
you then had to shift away from that path that you were going and you return to that point of origin. God is saying, you were with me. And then you went off astray. You went off on your own path, but now turn back and come back to me, your original point of origin. This is a way of, of emphasizing devotion to God. He's saying, devote yourselves to me again. Amar Adonai, says the Lord. So we can put it all together. This is my translation. Uh, there's plenty of similarities with the NRSV, although it's not the same. Behold, I am sending my messenger, and he will clear the way before me. And suddenly the Lord whom you seek will come into his temple. And the messenger of the covenant, whom you delight, behold, he is coming, says the Lord of hosts. And who will endure the day of his coming? And who will stand when he appears? For he is like a fire of a refiner, and like soap of a fuller. And he will sit as a refiner and purifier of silver, and he will purify the sons of Levi, and he will refine them like gold and like silver. Then they will be ones who present an offering in righteousness to the Lord. And the offering of Judah and Jerusalem will be sweet to the Lord as the days of long ago and as in former years. Then I will draw near to you for judgment, and I will be a hasty witness against the sorcerers, against the adulterers, against the liar, and the one who oppresses the wages of the hired ones, the widow and the orphan, and those who thrust away the alien, and those who do not fear me, says the Lord of hosts. For I, the Lord, do not change. Therefore you have not perished, sons of Jacob. From the days of your fathers, you have turned aside from my statutes and you have not kept them. Turn back to me, and I will return to you, says the Lord. Well, if you found this video helpful, I hope you enjoyed it. Hit that like button, I'd appreciate it. While you're at it, hit the follow button so you get all the updates of when I post new contents, which is right now, it's every day. We've got contents for Sunday and Monday and Tuesday and Wednesday and Thursday and Friday and Saturday. And if you would be so kind, give me a comment. What do you think of my translation? Uh, do you, did anything really stand out to you? Did you have any questions? Let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching. I appreciate you. We'll see you next time.